Hi everyone, it's Tara. So today I'm here to share with you some stick pins and a pin cushion that I created for my friend Anna, who is Serenity Creations here on YouTube. So I wanted to make her something to go along with the bead dangles that I'm sending her for a swap. And I remember her saying that she wanted to bring back stick pins. And I thought it was so funny because a few years ago everybody was making stick pins and now everyone's like into the planners and the paper clips. So she wants to bring back stick pins and so I wanted to make her a pin cushion and then of course I had to make some stick pins to go with it. So hopefully when she gets this, this will inspire her to go ahead and bring back stick pins. So Anna, I know that you're watching because you have no shame and if it's a swap and someone posts it, you're watching. So I'm gonna let you see this one, but I'm gonna hold the bead dangles until you receive it so that will have to be a surprise but I'll let you see this so let's get started I'm gonna show you the stick pins first and then I'll talk about the pin cushion so there's a ton of videos on how to create stick pins and I'm just gonna put this behind because my camera doesn't like to focus um, so yeah there's a ton of videos on how to make stick pins um, but I know Elizabeth, who is Beady Bomb Bomb, she created a stick pin tutorial a few years ago, and it was great. So I'm going to leave the link to her video down below so you can check it out if you've never made a stick pin or are new to stick pins. So here's the first one. I did most of them in yellow because I know that Anna's favorite color is yellow. And it was kind of fun pulling out, you know, my beads and creating different combinations to make these stick pins. I haven't made any in a long time. So, there you go. And the tops of these pins, I actually changed the color because they are white for, you know, those people that may not know. So they come like this, and they're actually... Um, floral, I think they're called floral pins. I find them in the floral section at Joann's. But to change the color, um, to change it to yellow, I uh, put a few drops of this alcohol ink. And this is sunshine yellow. I put a few drops of this onto a cotton ball and then I just swirled the, the tip of the pin and, and then it just changed the color. So because I know someone's going to ask me how I did it. So that's how I did it. <laughs> really, really easy. And the alcohol ink comes in many, many colors. Okay, so that's the first pin. And here's another one. This one's in pink. So I did most of them in yellow. I did a few in pink and then two, um, a couple in white. So this one here, I added a crocheted flower to the top and then you can see all the um, all the beads and spacers there. I'm not sure if this background paper is helping or not but so there we go. So that's that one. Uh, I did this one here and I wrapped a wild orchid craft flower around the top of it and I did add some stickles to the flower and I curled the the little stem there and then there's the the beads and the spacers okay here is another one in yellow so Again, I just wrapped the flower around, and that's the top where I colored, um, changed it to yellow. And so those are the, the beads. Really, really pretty. I love the way that these came out. Okay, here we go. Here's a white one. Again, I used that crocheted flower up at the top and then this is like a milk glass bead there here 
there's one in white and gold again this is like a milk glass type of bead and then I did this one with the little dangly and this is a bead that you know you can see it has the hole so it's meant to dangle things off of so I added that flower and then I added one of the uh, Swarovski crystals to the center of the flower. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to hold, hold this still so you can see. There we go. And I love that cat's eye bead right there. You can see how it moves with the light. And there's this one. And this one, I use one of those acrylic flowers. Here, yellow and gold. And then the last one here is I made a little dragonfly. And I got these dragonfly beads from Michaels, and I believe I shared those on a haul video. Thought that came out super cute okay so let me back out a little bit and I'll just show you um, the pin cushion so again there's a lot of video tutorials on how to make a pin cushion if you don't know how it's really really easy um, so you can just do a search for pin cushion tutorial if you don't know how to do it but for this one I found these this three pack of clay pots at the Dollar Tree and I love the size, the mini size of it. So I knew it was going to be perfect to make um, Anna's pin cushion. Uh, so I ran into a few issues here. The first one was trying to figure out the paint color because I wanted it to be like a pearlized paint. And I didn't have any paint that was pearlized like the Martha Stewart paint that I usually like to use. I didn't have it in yellow. So what I did was I just mixed two colors. So I mixed a pearl color and then I had a flat yellow. I mixed those together and then I was kind of able to achieve that pearlized look that I was going for. Okay and then I um, added the the rocks to the bottom which is you know what most people do to give it some weight and then I created the the cushion part with the batting or not the batting is it batting I'm not sure the um, fiber fill or whatever and so I wrapped two pieces of yellow tulle and then two pieces of this really pretty yellow lace and I wrapped that into a ball and tied it with a rubber band and then I was able to stuff it down in here and that's how I got the cushion part okay so then the this lace comes from Hobby Lobby and it was white and I wanted to change the color to yellow so the first thing that I did was I sprayed the lace with this Lindy's Stamp Gang and it is Yellow Rose of Texas and then I found that it was a little bit too dark I wanted it to be just a little bit lighter so I went ahead and used some of this Inca Gold and I believe this color is called Champagne but it's like a light yellow see that there we go it's like a light yellow color so I just wet a paintbrush and um, got it you know nice and wet in there and then I was able to brush some of the Inca gold onto the lace and then I dried it with my heat tool very carefully because I didn't want it to burn okay and then I just applied that around the sides um, and then the pearls, I wanted to change the color of those as well. And I did this before I uh, found my alcohol ink. Otherwise, I probably would have used the alcohol ink. It would have been so much easier to change the color of the pearls. But um, that was kind of like an afterthought. So what I did was, again, use the ink of gold. But I got a dry brush this time. And I just brushed it onto the pearls to change the color. To make it like that light yellow color. 
and then to apply the pearls I did not use hot glue because the hot glue it, I just didn't want it to look messy um, and sometimes you know it the glue you can see the glue seeping out and I just don't like that look I like for stuff to look clean and you know professional looking so what I did was I squirted out a little bit of E6000 onto some cardstock and then I got a pin and I just grabbed like little dots of it and applied it to the pearls like maybe two or three at a time and then I just adhered it that way so it was a slow process but um, you know the E6000 will make sure that it's you know very secure and it looks clean it doesn't look like messy so that's what I did and it was funny because I was actually doing that as I was on the phone with Anna and I told her what I was doing and she was just like you are crazy <laughs> but I mean it came out good so there's a reason there's a method to my madness <laughs> okay so then for this centerpiece what I used was one of these and I got these at Joann's on clearance uh, probably about a month or two ago. And um, my, husband, ugh, my husband had to help me with this because as you can see, the prongs are, you know, kind of high. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it wasn't, the flower piece wasn't laying flush against the, the pot or the stick pen holder. So I had him kind of cut down those prongs and he actually, he kind of hurt his hand a little bit, Anna. So just want to let you know that, you know, people were hurt in the process of making this for you. So <laughs> this was definitely made with love. <laughs> had to let you know that. But anyway, so he cut down the prongs a little bit so I was able to adhere it a little more closely. And then I kind of filed it down because the edges were a little bit sharp. And I did adhere it with E6000 because, I mean, it's metal. That's the only way it's going to adhere. But I think it came out really, really cute. So, Anna, I hope that you love it. It was challenging at times to make, but a lot of fun. And I know that you, you know, you'll appreciate all that went into it. So I don't mind, you know, doing the little extra things that I did. And so, yeah, so anyways, let me know what you guys think and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I will also leave a link down below to Anna's channel. If you don't know who Anna is, Serenity Creations, definitely check her out. She's an amazing crafter and she's such a sweetheart and so much fun to watch. So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to her, please do so. And yeah, so that's my project share for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.